Hey everyone, welcome back. We're in Ibis Paint X right now. And before we begin, I just want to let you know that you can support the channel by becoming a member. So definitely check that out. In today's video, we're going to turn this blue monkey, spider monkey from Ben 10 into a realistic version. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but let's dive in. First, I'm starting by tracing out the basic shapes of the monkey. And by the way, if you're interested in my brush settings, the links are in the description. All right, the shapes are traced. Now the next step is to make them look furry. For that, I'm using the hair smudge brush, smudging along the edges like this to get that fuzzy, hairy look. And to be honest, this is going to take forever. Seriously, I hated doing this part. Anyway, let's move on and add some texture. I'm using the Mesh Transform tool to shape the texture properly. Looks like I need to add more of it to one of the arms. Now I'm adding the second texture and adjusting it so it doesn't look flat. I'll also erase some parts so it blends in seamlessly. Then I'm adding a third one. Basically, I have to do this for every single arm. It's a nightmare. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Okay. At this point, I honestly started losing hope with this project, but let's see if we can fix it by adding shadows. I'm thinking of placing the light source from this side, which means the shadows will fall on the opposite side. I've started painting shadows here, and I guess it's slowly starting to take shape. Now I'm fixing the uneven lighting by painting in shadows on the right areas. Next, I'm adding some hard shadows to give it more shape and depth. Call it whatever you want. Since this part is behind the others, I'm making it a lot darker than the rest. Once that's done, I created a new layer, changed the blending mode to overlay, and selected a blue color. Why blue? Well, we're making a freaking blue monkey. Okay, now that looks really blue. At least it's starting to look like something instead of nothing. Now that the arms are done, let's move on to the rest of the body. Before we add texture, I'm giving the edges a furry look like this. I'm going to use a different image for this section, another one over here, and one more in the center. Now I'll erase the edges and blend them in smoothly. Then I'll merge them all together, desaturate it completely, and finally paint it blue. Hmm, that doesn't look great. The values don't match. Maybe adding some shadows will fix it. Not sure if I'll use a different texture later, but for now, let's roll with this. For the neck area, I'm using this heart-shaped pillow texture. But first, let's make the edges look furry. Now I'll drop the texture in, stretch it into place, and hope it looks okay for now. Maybe I'll use a bit of Liquify to adjust it too. Okay, that doesn't look great. Each part has different values, but don't worry, we'll fix that later. Let's move on to the head. I think this was the most time-consuming part of the whole edit. Make sure to like and drop a comment on the video. It really helps my channel reach more viewers. Let's add the same heart image for the head. Use a bit of warp to get that rounded shape. Add 
adding some shadows might help it blend in better. Now let's move on to the face. Using the smudge brush, let's smooth out the edges. Drawing around the eyes like this makes it look like it actually belongs there. Honestly, the face isn't giving a good vibe. I think we might be a bit screwed on this one, but let's hope it all comes together in the final edit. I've added some shadows on the shoulder area. The rest of the steps are pretty much the same, so I'll speed those up in a time lapse.
Now we're only left with the arms and legs. After that, we'll do some touch-up edits and place him into an environment.